In this video, we're going to give you a brief overview of how to create a risk assessment from start to finish using Ramsap. Ramsap is brought to you by the Be Accredited Group. We will also outline some of our top tips to help you get the most from the system. When you first log into the Ramsap system, you land on the risk assessment module. You can see an overview of all the RAMs you've created on this page. You can review and edit previous sets of RAMs you've made in the system. You can also duplicate documents, giving you an exact copy of a previous project you've made, meaning you can save time creating projects from scratch every time. To make a new assessment, hit the Create New RAMs button. You will then start our four-step process. Step one of the process is where you input the project details. Name of the project, reference number for the document, start and end date, and address details. Our top tips for the project details page. You can include as much information as you like in all the boxes provided. However, only the boxes with a red asterisk next to them need to be filled in. If you leave any boxes blank, for example, the client or principal contractor, this information, including the title, will simply not appear on your finished RAMS document. In addition to site-specific RAMS, if you want to use RAMS app for more generic, task-based RAMs, you can. Simply input a task as a generic project name, outline that you are working at multiple addresses, and you have a document that can cover you for more than one site. This isn't something we actively encourage. We always believe site-specific is best, but we understand that not all companies work the same way. When you're happy that you've entered all the project details you want to appear on your document, hit the Continue button to progress through to the next step. Step two of the RAMS app process is hazard identification and risk assessment. When we created this part of the software, we wanted to align closely with the HSE guidance on controlling risks. The HSE state, a hazard is anything that may cause harm, such as chemicals, electricity, working from ladders, an open drawer, to name just a few. One of the most important aspects of your risk assessment is accurately identifying the potential hazards in your workplace. A good starting point is to walk around your workplace and think about any hazards. In other words, what is it about the activities, processes or substances used that could injure your employees or harm their health? All of our hazard groups are in A to Z order. You can either scroll through the list to find what you're looking for or you can use the search bar at the top of the screen. To select a hazard you've identified using RAMS app, click Yes on the overall hazard group and tick the applicable hazard you have identified. Once you've selected the hazard, RAMS app will then link a risk assessment to it. Whilst you don't have to, it's best practice to take a look at the risk assessment and check that you can do what the risk assessment says. If you'd like to edit our existing risk assessment content, or even add your own, you can do so by selecting the Assess Risk button. That will then give you an overall view of the risk assessment template. To edit the content, select the assessment that you want to change, then hit the Edit button. You can then change any of our information to further suit your works. For example, if you feel the risk rating should be different or you want to add additional control measures. The HSE state, the risk is the chance, high or low, that somebody could be harmed by these and other hazards together with an indication of how serious the harm could be. Once you're happy with the assessment, select Save and Exit and that content will appear on your finished document. If you want to add your own risk assessment instead of using some of the existing risk assessment templates in RAMS app, then you can. Hit the Create New Risk Assessment button. Add your text following our process Select Save and Exit. It's as easy as that. By adding your own risk assessments into RAMS app, you will build a personalised library of content that can be used in addition to ours. Your assessments will be available for you to add on all future projects. Some of our top tips for this step of the process. If you want to create a document that only outlines your sequence of works or method statement, then don't select any hazards in Stage 2. Simply continue to the next step of the process and your document becomes a method statement rather than risk assessment.
There's no need to select all hazards that might happen or might be there. You only need to select the ones that could cause harm to the workers. If at a later date a new hazard is identified, you can easily add to your risk assessment by editing using Ramsap. Once you've selected all of the hazards, hit continue and you'll progress through to the next stage of the process. Step three of the Ramsap process is sequence of works. Here you'll outline what you're doing and how you're doing it. Simply tick the boxes to reflect the work you're carrying out. The system will be tailored to the exact activities you undertake, so there'll be no work categories in your Ramsap account that don't relate to the work you do. You can add additional steps if we haven't already covered the works you're carrying out by selecting Add Task Step. Or if you want to edit our content, select the pencil icon on the right-hand side of the text and you can change it. You can also edit the order that the trade groups, activities and task steps appear. To do this, you select the step you want to move, click and hold, and then move up or down and place exactly in the order that you're doing the work. Top tips for this part of the process. As with the hazard ID process, if you don't want anything in this section to appear on your document, for example, if you only wanted a single risk assessment with no sequence of works to accompany it, then don't select any of the trade groups. If everything is set to no and you continue through to the next step of the process, then the sequence of works will not appear on your finished document. The fourth and final step of the Ramsap risk assessment process is the method statement section, where amongst other things, you can outline a detailed scope of works, including any workers that are involved in the job and outline their training and competence. You can also add images to these boxes, such as site plans or training certificates. You'll also notice that detailed legislation is outlined in various sections throughout the method statement. This legislation is determined by the hazards you've selected earlier on in the process. You can select PPE that operatives are using on the job, even edit the name to reflect a specific brand or type. An example of this would be changing protective gloves to impact resistant gloves. Top tips for this section. As is the case throughout the process, all content in our method statement section can be edited or removed completely if you don't want the text to appear in your finished document. Don't want scope of works to appear on your document? Ensure the text box is blank and that section is gone from your finished set of RAMs. Once you've added or changed anything within step four, hit the save and exit button and that's it. You've made a risk assessment and method statement using RAMs app. You can now review your project and add any additional documents you may want. For example, a cosh assessment or an additional PDF to act as a cover page. You can email directly from the system or download a copy for your records. And there you have it, a finished risk assessment made using RAMs app, saving you time and hassle whilst keeping you safe. We hope you've enjoyed the brief video. We have more detailed user guides in the system if we didn't cover off what you're looking for. You can always get in touch with us too by email, phone or raising a support request when logged into your RAMs app account.